Hey everyone, different room, different type of video right now. Uh, I'm going to go over, I got quite a bit of like movie books that have just come in over the past couple of weeks that I want to show. I know, I know, books, yuck, uh, that seems to be the general consensus from people. I, I do have a movie channel after all, but these books are about movies. Fundamentally, this is still very movie related. And... I will say a lot of the movie books have more information than you will get out of any of the discs. So if you're a fan of the movie, these are definitely worth checking into. But before we dive into it, uh, leave a sub, comment, like, all of that stuff. Especially comment if you are into these movie type books at all. I know they're not everyone's cup of tea, but like I said, you get a lot out of them. Especially when they're from stuff that you are a big fan of. So for the first one... You get a lot of good information off of special features on E.T., but pales in comparison to what you would find in this E.T. book. It's absolutely wonderful. I'll play on the screen right now, the uh, flipping through the book, and it's full of little, like, I guess you'd call it, like, trinkety type stuff. I have a Jurassic Park just like this. A lot of, like, uh replicas of like a press badge or other things like that to kind of make the book a little bit fun as you're going through but it's also filled with just so much knowledge about et stuff that you will never find on the special features at all so if you're a fan of et you really it's worth looking into getting these type of books and this thing i paid 22 dollars for a very thick book with a lot of information. And looks like you don't have to be a deep reader. There's there's lots of pictures. Pictures are cool too. Uh, after all, movies are just moving pictures. And speaking of pictures, my actually my favorite book of all of these is this Film Noir Portraits, which I'm gonna put this thing full screen so you see the details of what's inside this. Holy cow, this book is incredible. It is just filled with a lot of press and behind-the-scenes pictures from some of the greatest film noir movies ever made. And these are ridiculously high-quality, very well-printed pictures. This book, it's very minimal on words, so if you're not a word person, this is the book for you. But seriously, I love these type of movies that this shows. Some of my favorites in here, like Night of the Hunter, this has never before seen pictures in it. That's awesome. I love this book. It's very much so just a coffee table picture book, but I love it. Next one up, we have The Art of Robert McGinnis, which I'll put this one a little bit smaller. Uh, so this is the artist that has done stuff like Breakfast at Tiffany's, James Bond movies, and many others, along with did a lot of book covers, did book covers for people like Stephen King. Uh, very prolific, very famous artist, but he's not strictly a movie poster or book cover guy. He's just an overall artist that has dabbled in a little bit of everything. And his art is fantastic. Very timeless. So this is a really cool book. Next one up is a TCM book about film noir. I have a lot of film noir books I've been getting. Uh, Dark City. This thing is super cheap on Amazon, as are a lot of TCM books. And TCM makes very high quality books, very informative books. And this thing is very nice. Like, I, this is like 18 or 20 or something like that. It's very thick, full of lots of information, all about... Film Noir, so this is one to look into if you like this genre at all. I said books are, are the price of a movie sometimes, and you will get a plethora of information. Next one, I got nothing to show for this besides just the book itself. This is more book book with some pictures. Not a whole lot, but this is all about William Powell and Myrna Loy, their stuff together. Uh gonna get it to at some point but i thought it was gonna be i don't know the words are huge this felt like this could have been a i don't know it feels like they padded it i guess so i don't know the quality of that one but the next book which is awesome the art of drew struzan so as you know i'm a big poster guy 
this is, I would say Drew Struzan is the GOAT. He is the greatest of all time when it comes to movie poster artwork. I mean, you look at the stuff there on the cover, that's all him. He has done some of the most iconic posters of all time. And a lot of this stuff, when you think of of the movies, some of the first images that pop to your mind are these posters. Posters are absolutely vital, and especially from back when Drew Struzan was most prolific, you generally found out about movies from either word of mouth, newspapers, or the one sheet. You generally saw trailers before other movies. So the one sheet poster was the way to sell you on a lot of movies. Posters are not just a little side thing. Like they are absolutely unequivocally vital to movies for most of the time of, of movies. Now you just hop online and like you're blasted with the trailer on, on Twitter, on Instagram, on YouTube, everywhere. The trailer, the trailer, the trailer. It wasn't that way for a long, long time. Think about it, guys. This, these things right here sold you, especially back in the time of like Back to the Future and Blade Runner. You either had someone tell you how amazing those movies are. You saw the little insert inside the newspaper which had the artwork still, or you saw the poster. That's generally the way you got sold on seeing a movie back then. Posters mattered a lot, and this book is just filled with his artwork, his concepts, his sketches. Incredible book. And last book, still it stays on posters, The Art of Noir, which is all about posters of film noir movies. I uh, showing from all across the world all different countries versions of of the posters their sizes artists all that stuff in here such a cool book uh this wasn't too much money but i looks at i'm heavy into the film noir stuff in in this little hall here but yeah posters man, i i love them and like i said they're very very important especially you go even further back to this this time period and I mean, posters were Posters were it. That that was how you found out about movies. They they mattered a ton. I mean, just those single images are what sold you on seeing a movie or not, honestly. So, yeah, that is everything. Short little little book haul video. Uh, like I said, I know not. It's not everyone's cup of tea. It's fine if well, I mean if you're still watching this. Thank you so much. Uh, no harm if anyone clicked off. I, I get it. Not, books aren't everyone's cup of tea. But you're not going to see me talking about, you know, all of these books on the channel. Because that doesn't really, that doesn't really fit. But I, I personally feel like books about movies still fit. And I love movies. So I'm going to talk about anything related to movies. <laughs> so, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. All that stuff. And I will see you in the next one.